Hi everybody, it's Crystal. So uh, how is everybody doing? I hope everybody's doing well and staying safe to my, my fellow fiber fanatics and yarn lovers of all kinds. So I have just a small box of yarn that I purchased from a company. You may have already heard of it, Wool in the Gang. Um, I can tell you that I have only used their yarn one time and that was many years ago um, I did um, so yeah so this it's kind of new to me they don't have like ton, I don't know if you're familiar with them at all but surely you've heard of them they have a lot uh, they don't have a lot of yarn but they ship like almost they ship like tons of places <laughs> so they really do have like lots of places that they ship to and it looks like they have I was assuming actually when I bought the yarn <clears throat> that uh, it was gonna ship from the UK because I, I thought that's where one of the gang was from on it uh, that's what I thought they were from but they have a warehouse they have a warehouse in the US so so I got it cuz it came really quick I'm like what's going on but anyways Yes, yeah, so they do have warehouses um, in the UK, a few in the UK, I think, and then uh, one in the US that they ship to people in the US and Canada from that warehouse. So mine came from, I live in the US, so mine came from their US warehouse, which, which is in New Jersey. So it didn't take long to get here, uh, maybe four days, maybe, not long at all. Um, and I mean that was from the time I placed my order to the time I hit my door. They shipped uh, uh, UPS. So, and I think it says they ship USPS sometimes. It probably just depends on where you're from. I don't know. Says so they have free shipping uh, orders over eighty dollars. Eighty dollars. I'm not sure if that's just the US or if that's like let's see what like Canada is. Free shipping orders over $100 in Canada. So you can go to their site and like up in the corner, if you go to Walnut the Gang, they have like uh, by the login thing, they have like the little flags. You can choose which country. They got lots of countries that they ship to pretty much anywhere. <laughs> and um, yeah, and, and it'll tell you what amount it is that they do free shipping for you. <clears throat> so when I hit the United States it's free shipping over $80 well anyways the reason why I've never bought from Walnut Gang really because I kind of always thought their yarn was a little expensive um I guess they have they don't have tons of yarn but they do have kits like they you know like one of their one type of their yarn and bundles and stuff I don't know they have they have some yarn well, anyways, I they I noticed last week one day they sent me a 25% discount for some special layer happened, and I'm like, well, since I haven't used ever unbox, I've never unboxed their yarn on camera, and the last time I used it, I said it was years ago. I'll give it a I'll give it a go since they were given 25% off. So I bought I think three different yarns from them. Um, so let's check it out. Okay, so comes in that's nice packaging. Wool in the gang. Hashtag made unique. Aren't we all? I like that hashtag. That's that's nice. So this is their bag, I guess. Let me open it up. It's cool. I like it. Nice packaging. See what we got in here okay now they have t-shirt yarn i like t-shirt yarn and i have a few tutorials using t-shirt yarn i've made a couple bags out of t-shirt yarn baskets out of t-shirt yarn and stuff like that well i wanted to get this t-shirt yarn again now it's called jersey be good 
wool in the gang. I thought it had quite a bit of yardage for it being t-shirt yarn because sometimes t-shirt yarn doesn't have a lot of yardage. And they have quite a, uh, quite a lot of colors to choose from. It seems a lot of them are sold out right now. It could be because it had that 25% off sale. Now the making of this video was 4-8-2021. But anyways, these are eleven fifty a ball. That's US dollars that I'm speaking. And remember, you can go up to the corner and click on your flag and it'll tell you what everything is in, in your currency. But it's 1150 US dollars. And um, it says um, it is 98% cotton, 2% elastane. Jersey be good. Hand wash, dry flat, 500 grams. This yarn is made in Turkey from fabric roll cutoffs. Um, originally from factory cutoffs, this yarn is now ready for its next adventure. Make something unique to share. That's so cool. Okay, all right. So let's read the info. It doesn't say much on here as far as yardage goes. I know I read that somewhere though on the <laughs> how much yardage it had. I don't know why it doesn't say it. Where did I read it? Where did I read it? I wouldn't have bought it if I didn't know. Okay. The color I have in my hand is called Candy Floss. Yeah, Candy Floss Pink. I got this for a specific purpose. I really don't know why, but... I mean, I know why, but... Okay. So, it is uh, considered a super, uh, super chunky it's or super bulky so and it's 109 yards i know that may not seem like a lot but it isn't bad for t-shirt yarn so this is what if you're not familiar with t-shirt yarn you can make some cool stuff with t-shirt yarn and it stands up on its own so like i said i have bags they make it makes really sturdy bags i have bag tutorials made with it and basket tutorials now i did buy this for something that i'm going to make this is the t-shirt yarn it's it's stretchy too um, so <laughs> I'm going to make, I have made, I have three cats in case you didn't know. I have made, um, one of my cats, two cat beds, and then I made my big cat, Steven. I don't know. He's my mascot, the, the yellowish orange one, the big, big old half Maine Coon, a bed that it got stolen by my oldest cat. I never made my little girl cat a bed. Now she hates me. See? That's why I just tried, you know, to pet her. But she hates me and everybody in my house except for my middle child. She only loves him. It's quite sickening, actually. I'll go, uh, I'll go up to to hug my my middle child. His name is Alex, and he's twelve, right? And she'll run up like and do parkour off the chairs and off the bunk beds to get up there by me, and she'll give me the death stare to get away from him. And yeah, sometimes she'll scratch me or bite me to make, make me get away from him. But anyways, even though she doesn't like me, I still like her. And I'm going to make her a pink bed. Maybe that'll make her like me more. So this is going to be a pink cat bed for my uh, girl cat, Mabel. So that's what I'm going to do with that. Like I said, these were $11.99, but I did get 25% off. And I thought that was a pretty good price. And to two of these to be plenty. I don't even know if I'll need that many. She's actually not a very big cat. She's a tiny kitty. Tiny little petite little girl cat. You don't see her much. Some people ask why they never see Mabel. It's because she's mean and she doesn't let me anybody touch her except for my middle son. Every once in a while she'll let you pet her but she stares you down the whole time. You, you got to slowly move your hand away because if you, if you just like pet her like you do a normal cat and walk away she'll be like Arr! So, anyways, even though she hates me, I still love her, and I'm going to make her a pink bed. But she doesn't have one. She won't sleep in it anyway. She sleeps with my middle child. Okay, I'll move on to the next. Enough of the cat talk. I'm making my video too long. I always say that about my husband, Mr. Bod. I always go, you're making this video too long. Okay. okay, there's only two different yarns left in here. This is shiny happy cotton i like that look of that although it is quite busy um i did get an abundance of them i must have had something planned for that Gosh. 
shiny, happy cotton. Hmm. Okay, so they got cool, you know, they got a lot of colors of this. Solids, they have some with little polka dots in it, and then they have some that look like this. Quite busy looking. But, you know, this one's called, I, I like the name of this one. The, the color is called TV Static. That's, an, that's cool. I love the name of that. It's appropriate. You got to say it is. So, this is Shiny Happy Cotton. Um, and the color TV static. It's 100 grams or 155 yards or 152 meters. It's 100% cotton. Now I'm always in the market for a good cotton. Now this is $12.50 a ball. Seems high, it seems expensive, but I did get it for 25% off because they had that, that sale. You know, it really don't feel bad for being a 100% cotton. It reminds me of Hobby Lobby's. I love this uh, cotton. Um, it kind of reminds me of Lime Brand's Pima cotton. It's definitely, definitely something I would make uh, a garment with, and that's probably what I'll do with it. Um, I would not waste this cotton on anything in the kitchen. When I find a good soft cotton, because cotton works well for kitchen items, but if it's good and soft, I always, I, when I say I wouldn't waste it on a kitchen item, I just mean that it's, it's good enough for an article of clothing. Um, you can buy cheaper cotton, like it, you know, like at Walmart and stuff to use for kitchen items because you know wash rags and stuff they just get used and washed but if you find a nice soft cotton um which some, sometimes it's hard to find a nice really good soft cotton it's that's good enough for garments never waste on anything in the kitchen well i never do this is nice it is it's it's very very uh garment worthy cotton i like that that's nice 100 percent cotton too nothing else in it huh Huh. It says soft and sleek with the beautiful drape. Shiny, happy cotton is the perfect yarn for the warm months. Yeah. It, it, oh, it even gives you stitches that you could work with it. Uh, garter stitch, moss stitch, stocking stitch, single crochet, double crochet. I guess you can use, I use any stitch you want with it, but they're just giving you some some ideas and what it's like to knit with it and um, ideas of things to make. It's cool. It's very nice. I, it's a nice cotton. I'm happy with that purchase. I am. Um, I think I'll make this a garment of some sort. I have um, 155 yards. So um, I got plenty to make uh, any type of summer garment that I want. Let me know in the comments what you would like to see out of that, that you think would work well with this yarn. So it's a yarn, it's, it is very nice, and I would recommend this, but I'd probably recommend if you, you know, yarn's worth what you're willing to pay for it. But I did get 25% off. Um, it is, uh, let's look at it. Look close. Yeah, it's a four weight. Did I mention that? Yeah, it's a four weight. It's four weight, um, spun, or, uh, Ply cotton. I think it's cool. Now, yeah, like I said, let me know in the comments. That's a nice four way too. That's so pretty. It's not really a yarn that I would normally buy. Not not the cotton, the color, because I'm not into busyness like that. But I think the name of it being called TV Static was kind of cool to me. And um, I was hoping that it would be a soft cotton, and it is. It definitely is a very nice cotton, very garment worthy, and that is definitely what I will make with it. Okay, like I said, let me know in the comments. Okay, since this yarn is so busy on its own, the garment is going to have to be something very simple. It's not going to be nothing. You don't want to use anything like that shawl has um, uh, very intricate stitching because the yarn I used was just plain white or plain cream. You know what I mean? So I focused on the stitch. And this type of yarn that's very busy is the type of yarn that you want to focus on the yarn. So any busy or any um, stitch that's, you know, more complex, I think, is going to be wasted because of the yarn being so busy. So it's going to be the need to be something simple. So what would you like to see me model in this? I don't like modeling my stuff, but I will for you guys. Let me know in the comments. I got plenty to make whatever. Okay, I got one more thing here. Okay, this is their Billie Jean yarn, which I have seen 
that th that uh, it is these three that I got and then one more I think are the most popular yards I didn't get the other one and I'll tell you why here in a minute okay Billy Jean yarn it is 100 grams 148 yards or 135 meters it's 56 percent upcycled jersey 14 percent upcycled denim and 30 percent raw cotton okay well then Oh, they have, yeah, Billie Jean. Is this what it's supposed to be? Yeah, Billie Jean. Billie Jean yarn. Okay, they don't have a lot of colors to choose from. They're mainly, mainly like a denim looking colors. Uh, they got some, you know, white um, and blue mix and stuff like that. But So this is what this one looks like. And it's a four weight tell by looking at it I don't even know if that's what they classify it as but yes four weight plied yarn so this uh, is a little bit stiffer than their silky uh, or shiny happy cotton but it's still not a bad cotton it would be garment worthy I think not definitely not like this one but that's not my intentions for this I think that it being a little bit stiffer, I'm going to use it for a bag. That was my intentions on this, um, to make a bag out of it. It's, it. It don't feel bad, but it's definitely not comparable to this as far as softness goes. But I felt way worse cotton than this, trust me. I mean, I'd wear a scarf out of it. It wouldn't bother me. But it's, no, it's not, the, it's, it's. This is, this is their winner on their cotton. Their uh, shiny happy cotton. That's some nice cotton right there. I wouldn't lie to you. It is some very nice cotton. And if you got it, I don't think you'd be a... a disappointed. Okay, each color is, uh, is made up of different uh, components. Depending on the color you get. So, like the white is 100% um, upcycled cotton. And then each color is something different. So I told you what this one was. This one was the indigo denim. Um, you guys can just look at each one and see what it's... It's all recycled materials, I guess. Or upcycled or whatever it is. So, $8.99 a ball. I got 25% off of that. So I, did, I only got three of these. But that will give me enough to make a bag. And that was my intentions on that was a bag. Yeah, definitely bag. You know what? I don't know if it's garment worthy. It's not extremely. I mean, it's it's not the worst cotton I've ever felt. But it's just mediocre. I would probably wear a scarf out of it, but it might it might soften up after a wash. But I don't know. Okay, so I like everything that I got. I do like it all. I think it was all probably, it was all worth the money that it paid for it. Um, considering I got 25% off. They have another popular one called uh, Crazy Sexy Wool, I believe is what it is. Is that what it is? Anyways, um, I didn't get that one. Yeah, Crazy Sexy Wool. I, I didn't get it because it's a big, thick, chunky... Um, and I love wool. Wool's my favorite. It's a big, thick, chunky ball of 100% uh, um, wool. It's like a bulky six. And it's $24 a ball. And even at 25% off, I don't know. It, it could be, be worth it. You know what I mean? But I didn't get it because I was trying to uh, get more cottons for um, spring and summer. Now that's not to say I might go back this fall and buy that if they have a sale again because I'd like to try it. I mean it seems to be one of their popular yarns. It does have a high price tag. It does say it's 100% natural, biodegradable. Um, cool. Their, their site's really neat. They give you like ideas of what you can do with all their yarns and, and stuff like that. So those are the three I got. They do have other ones like some really thin mohair and some 
fluffy yarn and then some tape yarn um you just have to look uh some merino some hemp but i wanted to get their cottons because i wanted to do some summer projects and they had some glitter sock yarn. I would have got it if it wasn't sock weight. I like glitter yarn, but I do not like sock weight. So yes, this is the best one that I think I received. The Shiny Happy Cotton. It's super, super nice. I think it feels great as far as uh, cotton. For a cotton, it really feels nice. I think that if you uh, are familiar with Hobby Lobby's I Love This Cotton, it's similar to that. I think it might even feel a little bit better than that. Like, more of a run off your hands, slicky feel, kind of. I don't know, I can't really explain it. Although it has no shine to it at all. It's dull, in my opinion. Well, this color is. Maybe another color has some shine. It is called Shiny Happy Cotton, but that just could be the name because of that song. Shiny happy people holding hands, you know. I don't know where they got the name. All right, I'm gonna go. It's too long. I like it all. Let me know in the comments what you would like me to make for wearable, like a wearable. Um, it has to be something simple, like something with a simple, well, I guess I can make the simple stitch, but it's gotta be something that that's doable for me for a summer, you know, and something that I, I, I think that everybody's gonna watch. There's certain things that some people would, you know, a lot of people won't watch. So, just, yeah, just give me your ideas in the comments. I'll, you know, I'll look over. I'm interested to see what you think this would look good as, as far as a wearable. I got some thoughts. But I'm going to look at your comments, too. So, thanks, everybody, for watching. I do like all the yarn I got. I think it's great. Look for this cat bed for my my little girl kitty. Even though I make, I'm make i making that her that so she'll love me. I know she won't, and then she'll take the bed. She'll get in the bed and bite me. Okay, so <laughs> that's it. In a bag, I'm gonna make out of this. So I will be keeping all this because I do have plans for it all. I bought it, all of it with intentions. I already had the plans that I knew what I was gonna make with it when I bought it. Besides this, I knew I was, I thought, I guess I, I just forgot what I what my plan was. I, I obviously bought enough to make a garment with it. I was. I guess I was hoping that it was gonna be a soft cotton. I was right. Or my hopes came true. My dreams came true. It's nice. It's it's good enough for a wearable. Oh, that felt good on your skin. What's going on about it. Okay. I'm not affiliated with Woolen Gang. Remember, I purchased all this myself. I just bought, I just got a coupon. They had a coupon code um, last week that they were have some kind of special. So I used that. And but and I do not have affiliated links. But you can check them out. They ship everywhere. Looks like pretty much everywhere <laughs> they ship. Um, and It'll tell you how much you have to spend to get free shipping. Yeah. I like it. So, yeah. Maybe I'll purchase from them again. But I think I'll wait for coupon codes to do that. <laughs> so, I'll see you guys uh, on my next video. Okay, sorry this video was so long. I know no one wants to hear me blab about yarn all day. But I still like to have someone to talk to about it. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Bye. Hey, stay safe.